Hey guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, we will we will first of all make up a new Git repository. And I will have to make a new GitHub account for that one. So we will just make a new GitHub account. And I will come real quick. So we made our repository, and now we can go maybe in the settings. Okay, so this is about GitHub repository. Now we can go to here and uh, we can make a uh, dot git ignore file outside you know in the offset folder in the shopping website folder so we'll say dot git okay not here actually so okay let's make it here dot git ignore we want to ignore the uh, file in server slash node modules we want to ignore that file and uh, maybe we also want to ignore the file in the client side section but i don't think we need to ignore that okay let's just keep the client side section and let's only ignore this file all right good so now save it there we'll just go to terminal new terminal and we will just say Git in it, we will initialize a new git repository in our current folder. Then I would like to connect with the git here. Good. Comment on master. Uh introduction. Okay, make sure you configure your in git and git log okay i have not connected with my git properly so that's a thing what we are going to do now is just mm, branch add the remote from github hello Okay, I hope it did got the permission right. Okay, we want this one. Provide a name, a remote name, and sure to confirm. Shopping series. Run git fetch. Yes. introduction cancel it out okay something is not good if I go back here I can see maybe it did connect it with that one but nothing was actually changed push no configure push destination Okay, we have not connected with any destination. Uh, push to shopping series trying to pull first integrated chains. Can I push the refs to remote? Okay, give me a minute. Okay, guys, so there's a thing I can do. I can say git add git uh, comment introduction. Okay, guys, so yeah, this is our full stack shopping website repository where everything is going to be uploaded, right? nice so in the client folder we will just make split here terminals okay we need to go to split terminal click on the powershell and click here so now we have two terminals running in one terminal type cd client hit enter so this means now we are inside the client section 
So whatever we write here will be applied inside the clients folder. Here we will type city server, which means whatever we type here will be applied inside the server folder. So what we are going to do, we will just in the client folder we will type we'll type yarn create next app in the current folder or if you don't have yarn installed we can just first of all install yarn by typing npm install yarn or if they sh they are showing you npm is not a recognized uh, you know input or something like that that means you have to install node.js into your PC you all you have to do is just go to Google uh, you know search for download node.js install the node.js.exe the latest version or the recommended version it doesn't really matter just get any of them I will say get the latest one okay once you get that install it and then restart your PC after doing that you will come here and now you all you have to say okay I I don't think you need to restart your PC but I'm just saying for being on the safer side now here we will type yarn create Uh, next app in the current folder so this means it is going to create the next app next job is going to happen in the current folder or you can type npm create dash next dash app but in yarn you have to put the create away you need to you know separate the create with a space bar and at the end this dot represent that me it means that we want to install the yarn in the next JavaScript application in our current folder not in any other folders all you have to do is just press enter and this process will finish in about like 20 or 25 seconds or 30 seconds depending upon your internet connection speed so I think my work is about done here just a little bit more and then we are officially going to be done okay 25 seconds it took alrighty now you can see here we got a lot of damn files right and we have to delete few files though we need to delete the readme.md it doesn't we don't need it okay and we will go to next.config.js and change the re react strict mode to false because I will explain you later on react strict modes will render an element a, a component two times let's say we have so we're rendering our uh, product page in our shopping website it will be rendered two times which means it will make request to the API to the backend two times and it will get the data two times we don't want our backend to die like you know to get double requests because it doesn't really make sense and that's why we are just changing this one to false okay and we need we can go to styles and you can delete the home.model.css go to global.css okay here we are going to remove everything and save it okay let's go to public folder delete the virtual.svg delete the favicon.ico and go to page folder here delete the API folder because we will write back in the node.js folder in the node.js section not in the next.js itself we have a underscore app.js and here we will do a few changes we'll say okay ah uh, yeah I think you don't know about anything right so yeah let me explain you so basically what this underscore app.js does it will take all of the components and I and please have some knowledge of react.js then come here because the thing is this is a full stack shopping as a tutorial I cannot go literally in the full depth of how these things you know how what are components what are react components what are stuff like that so I hope you have those understandings and you need to have a normal understanding of JavaScript not the best one but I will say a normal one okay what exactly is happening here this is about underscore app.js file so whatever we write whatever you know files we put in the page folder so basically page folder is kind of like a route folder in react.js you make the routes yourself but in next.js whatever file you put in the page folder with a cap with the small alphabet in the starting what is going to happen it will act as a no i not actually small it's all of its alphabet should be in a small uh, you know in a, in a lowercase section 
if any of the letters are uppercase it will not be uh, read it will not be read as a uh, as a router okay so if you will search for if you'll go to localhost 3000 slash index index it will go to it will load whatever we have put it inside of index.js okay I will show you that exactly so what exactly is about underscore app.js what is here happening is there's a saying get the component get the page, page props and return all of the components and all of the page props so basically this thing this underscore app.js is just getting read getting all of the components all of the page props that are inside the page folder and they're just returning them with a component uh come you know, with just a, a com uh, with just a element with the name of component so what exactly what is really special in here the thing that is special here is just this global.css what it means is me it means this global.css will be available in all of our files that we have in the page folder as you might have the knowledge about next.js or react in next.js if you are importing a CSS file in one file, it will not be you cannot use that CSS in the other file. It the CSS will only be eligible to be used for that particular file. So if you want, it, okay, if you don't want to import one single file of CSS in all of your folders, then you can use this one. But you might be a little bit confused. Why are we using this one then? Well, we will use Tailwind CSS. So we in the global CSS will put three codes of Tailwind CSS so we will make it will make sure that we are using Tailwind CSS in all of our folders other than just you know importing this global CSS all right this that's the magical thing we will be doing here for now but 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 this is just the beginning in the underscore after JS we are going to do a lot of crazy stuff so we'll be using context API here we'll be having a many a lot of functions in here so that all is just going to be we are going to just go like crazy okay just don't worry about that one so in the index of javascript file is the like the main file in the page folder so if anyone will go to your site.com or dot in or whatever domain you have he will see this first page okay whatever you have here he will see that one so what are we going to do we will just remove the all of the, all of the things we'll just say RFC which means react functional component hit enter and remove import react from react because it doesn't it's not needed and you can name this function literally anything because it doesn't matter for this in this case we are saying index we'll say uh, full stack shopping website save it and uh, we have the node models folder and that's a good thing in here just remove the slash from the node modules so that we can make sure it will ignore node modules file right now we need to go cd dot dot slash in the main folder in the main directory like in the shopping website and we'll say git at all of the things git commit uh, part 2 we'll say git push origin must origin main okay so we are just uploading all of the files into our github repository so you will be able to access uh, access them and yep there we go we have a client folder here and we have all of the pages that we did today well that was about the part two and we already have a part one i think is the part one i'm not sure but i hope okay one second no, we actually don't have part two, so it all will be you no know, in a single thing, right? Okay, we it's all fine. Well, that was this for this video. I will see you in the next one. In the next video, we are going to integrate Tailwind CSS in our website. So I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, click on the bell icon, turn the notifications on for all of my future videos like this video share this video comment down below how you are enjoying the series and what type of series you want in the future bye bye guys and i will see you soon